you folks. Welcome to Deep Dark Yoga. Hey, Hannah. Uh, we're going to do just a bunch of stuff today. It's going to be real good. If you happen to have a yoga block, cool. If you don't have a yoga block and you have something vaguely like a yoga block, maybe a stack of books, maybe you got like a, um, a protein powder jug or a growler, I don't know, anything. If your dog is more stationary than mine, that works too. And you can just make it up when we get there. It won't be that big of a deal. Um, I, uh, so there's Hi Daniel, welcome. I'm gonna mute you, but go ahead and unmute yourselves if you have any um, if you have any questions or anything pops up. Um, so anyway, so I had this, I had a date. Uh, I was dating this guy over the last like couple weeks, and I was really excited about the fact that he was really outgoing, and I really liked that in a person. But um, he would never shut up. It's a little bit little bit too intense and it was starting to become a conflict thing and we were both realizing it at about the same time and then he told me that I was really just too timid for him which is hilarious if you know me at all <laughs> and then I was thinking I was realizing well yeah like in his reality I was definitely coming off as timid mostly just because I didn't want to interrupt him all of the time like I ended up being very quiet and this experience has been something that I have had a really hard time letting go of. I've been really attached to this, to this, this thing that happened. And part of attachment of Pariyagraha is also the, um, the adverse situation. We have attachment and then we have aversion. And we're just like, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want to be seen as having this quality in my life. No, I don't want to have this experience. No, I don't want to deal with that. And then attachment is the, I am, I need, it has to happen. It's like, I need that latte every morning. You're all just going to be awful. <laughs> we're having an awful day. And when we get stuck in these things, it can be really hard to let go of the latte. And it can be really hard to accept that no matter how much we may not want to possess certain qualities, that sometimes they come up. Or that sometimes it's fairly reasonable for somebody to think that we have certain quality in those moments. And the whole thing about being human and existing in the world is that we are going to have those moments. We're gonna have those moments where we realize, like, I'm really stick. I'm, I'm, I'm a really big stickler about like my tea in the morning, whatever it is. We get really attached and maybe uncomfortable when that thing doesn't happen. Or we have these moments where we're seen as being something that we'd rather not. And it's not about. Yes, ideally we can achieve this state of being in this higher existence where, like, mm, latte or no latte other person's opinion or no other person's opinion we can be above all of that but we're existing in the world here we're existing in the place where those things happen to us so instead of just trying to like think it's all or nothing how do i deal with those situations how do i deal with the point at which i don't get my latte i don't get my doom yoga doom yoga or i feel like i'm not um, i'm not uh, having to deal with the situation how do I find peace? How do I breathe through it, move on through it, let go of it? The answer is lots and lots of practice and finding this breath and finding this forgiveness for ourselves for that. So let's start moving into this practice. We're gonna start with face brushing. Take your index finger and your thumb together. A little squishy spot at the bottom of your thumb. Bring that to the center of your forehead and brush outwards towards your temples a few times. And going from the sides of your nose out to your temples along your cheekbones. And from your temples down to your chin along your jawline. From the sides of your nose down to your chin along your laugh lines. And then you're gonna bring your fingertips underneath and behind your ears so there's a little soft spot back there. And when you massage the soft spot, it can feel really nice. And it's also a good place to think of lifting up on your head from that place right behind your ears. And keeping 
doing that lift as best you can. Press your hands down in your lap. Just place them somewhere that's comfortable to you. If it feels okay, close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. As you take deep breaths, just examine your body. Notice how you're feeling. that throughout this practice we'll put an effort in to try to not be resisting things to notice the points at which we might be resisting or grabbing or grasping in the body Just practicing letting that go practicing treating that with ease and with patience out through your mouth. Again like that. For three. Oh. Oh. Sitting up on anything like I tend to to start off with, toss that off to the side. Now come down onto your back and bring your knees into your chest. And get looked in the face by a small dog. No, thank you. Okay, perfect. And after you've rocked around a little bit side to side, start to come into the center. And then you're going to put one hand on each knee and you're going to move your legs in circles. Now I like to move the legs in their own circles so they're kind of going away from each other and then back to And then do this in the other direction. And then after some rolling around in your hips, go ahead and set your feet down a little bit wider in your hips and reach your arms back behind you. When you reach your arms behind you, reach out long through them, take a really big breath in, feel your chest lifting up away from the floor, your waist lifting up. And as you exhale, let everything soften. Do that again, inhale. Reach out long through the spine, lift in the belly. And then exhale, relax. And you have options to leave your arms here. Or you can hold on to your elbows. If you don't like this, just separate those arms together. So we're going to take the legs and roll both of them over towards the right. And my legs are not together. My left knee is going to be up in the air. And then I want to reach that left knee out and away from it. If this feels good, stay here. Maybe you might put your right foot on your left knee. And that's going to draw it down a little bit more. Make sure your left knee isn't angry about this. If it's angry about it, don't fight with your knee. Just take the foot off. If you're just noticing that resistance that tends to happen, start to soften wherever you feel that resistance. Not with judgment, not with frustration at yourself. Just, oh, okay, cool, we're just gonna relax here. Give yourself one more breath on this state. 
you had your ankle on your knee, release it. Bring your legs back to the center. You've got your hips in the middle, your feet a little wider. And then roll your knees over towards your left side. And you stay here, or you can put your left ankle onto your right knee to give yourself a little bit more stretch. And you'll notice my right shoulder is starting to lift up here. You may notice the same. Try to relax the right shoulder back down, even if it doesn't get down in the back. Finding that middle space where you're softening a bit, even if it doesn't go exactly where you want. One more exhale. And you're going to take your foot off of your knee, go ahead and bring yourself back into the center. And you're going to take your arms, release them, roll your body all the way over onto your right side and go ahead and curl yourself up into a little ball. Now we're starting off pretty tightly curled up. If you need to move your legs further away from you as we get into this, absolutely do that. But start off here, see how it goes. You're going to take your top arm, your left arm, and roll it back and open so that you're stretching out through your chest. And then do a little wiggle where your ribs might be a little bit more open. And then let your belly soften as you take some long, deep breaths. more time breathing in and breathing out and you're going to bring yourself back into that little ball and you're going to roll that little ball all the way over towards your left side go ahead and curl yourself and know that you can move your legs further away from you if it feels better you're going to open your right arm and a little wiggle try to get your chest a little more open Breathe into the sensation here. See where you're tight, where you're resisting. Try to soften. Bring everything right back up into the center. Bring your knees into your chest. Go ahead and knock yourself out. And then you're going to start rocking from head to tail. And you're going to come up to a seat. Take yourself onto your hands and knees. Setting up in table pose. From here, you're going to take your right arm up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to reach underneath, but just hover for a moment. And then as you inhale, you're going to reach that arm back up. As you exhale, reach underneath and hover. Try to go slow. Try to keep it smooth and fluid. Doing this two more times. Once more. This time, as you reach the arm underneath, go ahead and rest down on your shoulder. Rest your head down. I like to come up onto left fingertips when I'm threading the needle. You might like to reach the arm overhead or take it behind your back. You can always take those modifications. I like this one. So I do what makes sense to me, and you can do what makes sense to you, and the yoga police will come for none of us, because there's no such thing as yoga police, which is one of the best things about yoga. One more exhale. And then if you were up on your fingertips or you moved your hand anywhere else, go ahead and bring it back down. Unwind your right arm. And then you're gonna scoot your left knee back just a few inches and take your right arm open. And you may notice that it feels a lot freer than when you were trying to lift your arm up with your knees together. We just removed some of the unnecessary resistance to that. Go ahead and float your right hand down. 
Scooch the left knee back in. We'll go through the other side. Inhale, open your left arm. Exhale, thread it underneath. Just hover. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, reach and underneath and hover. And a couple more. Lifting up and open. Exhale, slide it underneath. Inhale, open it. Exhale. One more. Reach it down. This time, resting on the outside of your shoulder, resting your head down, doing whatever you like with your right arm. Two fingertips to a long arm, arm behind your back. Do nothing whatsoever. That's fine, too. One more exhale. And if you moved your right hand anywhere, go ahead and put it back down underneath your shoulder. Unwind your left arm and now scooch your right knee back. Let's remove some of that resistance and just see how it feels to open the chest without it. Sometimes you got the resistance, sometimes you've got a little bit more space and freedom. Take another breath in. And then lower your hands down. You're gonna bring your hands a little bit further forward and then start to lay down on your belly. And we're gonna do a little low cobra pose. So slide your hands back, pull your shoulders back, and lift your ears up and forward. We're gonna hang out in cobra for a moment. I want you to check in with me on something. Are, are your shoulders up by your ears? Do you feel pinching in your lower back? If you lift your hands up right now, would you just fall right down on your face? If so, lower yourself down a little bit. See about lifting up with a little bit of like power right in your chest rather than trying to pinch into your back. And take another big breath in. Soften your throat as you exhale. See if that changes anything. And then relax it a little bit. Let's hike the bum up off the ground. Push down strong into your hands. We're gonna curl into the toes and press back up into downward facing dog. When you get up, try to wiggle through your heels a few times. Stretching out the back of your legs, keeping yourself acclimated into the shape. Make sure you're not letting yourself rest forward into your hands. You wanna be pushing down strong from the outsides of your arms. And then lift up high on your toes so that you're stretching the bottoms of your feet. And on your exhale, release those heels back just as far as they'll go. They won't go all the way. One more exhale. And gently lower your knees down. Now you're going to keep your toes curled under. See if you can wiggle your feet back just a little bit more. I barely moved mine. Now you're going to push your hips back to your heels. Keep your arms down. You're gonna try to push the back of your heart up and away from the floor so you can round through your spine. That is probably a little bit more like a, a cat pose, a Halloween cat spine, rather than your arms pushing down, but still reach those arms down. Now try to relax your head. Oh, I know. Mm. Stretch out through that upper back. Let your hips get nice and heavy for one more breath out. And up of that, lift yourself up. Let's press back into downward facing dog. I just like to stretch the bottoms of the feet to see if it helps open up the backs of the legs at all. One more exhale. I'm looking forward. Bring your feet up to your hands. Find a nice, easy forward fold where you probably bend into your knees and or hold on to your shins a little bit. And you want to relax your head. One more breath out. And start to stand yourself up. Reach your arms up. Take a nice big breath in. And then bring your hands down to your heart. I'll see you for a moment. We're going to do a little bit of a flow with the arms through, um, through some poses. So take your arms up. And then you're going to keep reaching your left arm up and reach your right arm down. So it, yeah, you get a little bit of a side bend, but it's both arms reaching. 
tilt just a little bit. And then take both of your arms up and you're gonna reach your left arm down to reach your right arm up. Take both arms up, big and Go ahead and bring your hands down into your heart. And we're gonna do that in warrior one. So take your right foot, bring it forward. Take your left foot, bring it back. I've got my toes curled in a little bit. My front knee is bent. Be right over the ankle. And then take your arms up. So try to keep your legs steady as best you can. Take an inhale. On your exhale, reach your right arm down and your left arm up. And then inhale, take both arms up. On your exhale, you're gonna reach your left arm down and your right arm up and try not to do weird things to your knees because they'll want to do weird things. And then you inhale to the center, you exhale, right arm down, left arm. Inhale to the center, exhale, left arm down, right arm. One more each side, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come back up to the center. And then you're gonna swing your arms back behind you. You can hold hips if that feels better, or you can hold hands behind your back. We're gonna lift up and stretch the chest and then start to take it forward. Many of us are gonna say, mm, this is a good place to stop, kind of above your thigh or maybe on your thigh. But if you're able to convince your, um, your brain and the natural sense of worry that comes into being upside down, if you're able to convince that you're actually gonna be quite okay, if you fall, you can always just catch yourself, stand right back up, but try to relax your neck. One more exhale. And release your hands. Go ahead and take yourself back up to standing in warrior one. And bring your hands to your heart. You're gonna step your left foot up, reach your right. And that could be, of course, many steps to get there. We're gonna take the right foot back, finding warrior one, back toes are turned up slightly, try to get a good steady lunge to your front leg. Take your arms up, take a big breath in. Exhale, left arm down, right arm reaches up, so both arms are reaching. Inhale up, exhale, right arm down, left arm up. Notice my hip didn't slide out. Inhale, take the arms up, exhale, reach the left arm down, right arm. Inhale to the center, exhale to the right. One more each side, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Coming up, breathing in. Sliding those arms back by your sides, holding hands or holding hips, and then lifting your chest and taking it forward a bit. And even if you stay here, Try not to crunch the back of your neck. Can you reach the backs of your ears out of your shoulders and release that tension, that resistance? Maybe you got some space to go forward more still. Drive that front foot down into the floor. One more exhale. and release your arms, go ahead and fly them right back up in the sky, lift the chest in warrior one. And then take your hands to your heart, you're gonna take the back foot and step it up one or two hundred times until it gets to the front of your mat, and then relax your arms down. I keep talking about relaxing the neck, especially today it's been coming up a lot. So I started teaching yoga online for the most part, and I do it with you guys all the time, and talk two years ago now. Um, I've been noticing that it gets harder to release the head, so I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has that experience where like, ugh, feel like you need to hold on to it or it's gonna go somewhere and it won't go anywhere, you'll be fine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take the other way. So we'll say I'll just mirror you in this. I'm gonna take a block, or if you have like, I said, like a, a growler or a protein powder jug, a laundry detergent thing, a, it doesn't have to be this small either. It can be bigger. You can go step over to your couch. You can just hang out there and sleep. Doesn't matter. But you're going to take your right foot and you're going to have it facing towards a thing or nothing and you'll just go down towards the foot. And I've got about a foot in between me and that um, 
be in that thing. And then I'm going to stand up on the foot that's facing towards the thing a foot away from it. I'm going to take the same hand down. I'm going to lift this leg up. It doesn't have to be high, but I want the toes to face the same way as my heart, which is out towards you. And then you're going to reach into both arms. And you can just be kind of hovering here in space. That's okay. One more exhale. And then stand yourself up. You're going to take this leg and you're going to step it back. Now we'll find warrior two. And warrior two going in two directions, but still having that good lunge in your front leg. We're going to do a little bit more flowing. Inhale, lift your right arm up, lift your heart up. Exhale, take your elbow down, reach your left arm up and over. Inhale, take your right arm up, your heart up. Exhale, over the leg, reach your left arm up and over. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And lift yourself up. You're going to straighten into your front leg. You're going to do a little shift of your hips back towards your left foot and slide the right hand down. You could also grab a block or your item, your object, and set it down like so. Always have that option. We're going to do a little bit more. I want to move a left to go. So inhale, lift your chest up on your exhale. You're going to tuck that arm down underneath your leg. Then inhale, open it up. Exhale, curl it down. You're giving your chest another chance to expand and lift up. And then one more time. Exhale down. Inhale up. And when you get here, reach from your heart into both of your hands. If you can open the chest. And then start to stand yourself up. You can even take your object with you if you have your hands towards it. Okay. You're going to come on up and you're going to stand on this leg again. You're going to bring whatever that thing was. Bring it back to the space where you were in half moon before because just for fun, we're going to try to go from eagle into half moon because I really like it. Okay. You're going to take your um, same leg, your right leg. You're going to be standing on it, but you're going to cross your left leg in front. And then you're going to squeeze your thighs together and sit your hips back. Now I'm going to face everything off towards the same direction as my right leg to start off with. For my eagle pose, my half moon is going to open up just how it was before. So I'm going to squeeze the legs together, sit the hips back, take your opposite arm on top, and wrap up for eagle feathers. Now we've got all of this compression. We've got the pressure, the attachment, the resistance. And how awesome does it feel to finally hit the point where you kind of let go of that, you open back out, have a little freedom, a little reach, maybe a little fun, wiggly, folly overness. Two words being invented every day in Cuddle Yoga. Step off, feet down. Come into a fold, relax, bobble your head out a bit. And then start to come up to see. And just the giggles, we're going to do it one more time because it's a really weird transition. I didn't want to make you hold anything for too long. So same leg. Cross your left leg over. Squeeze your thighs. Sit it back. Take the opposite arm on top. Wrap up. Get squeezed in just as tight as you can. And be okay with falling over as you start to open yourself up. You never know what you can do until you start to experiment with it. Let's open it up. Yeah. And then go ahead and stand up. Ah. Okay, take your feet just a little bit wider than hip width before we do everything on the other side. We're gonna come into a fold, bend your knees just to make it easy on your back. If you're like, I'd rather put my hands on the thing than on the floor, you do that, or you can hold your shins. Part of a lock through your back. One more exhale. And start to lift yourself up to standing. And I'm just gonna shift my foot so that I'm facing towards you, but you can stay right where you're at. Okay, so I'm going to start off. My foot is facing towards my thing. If I'm using the thing, it's about a foot away from the thing. I'm going to stand up on this foot. Put my same hand to the thing. And I want my chest to face outward. Woo! Paul is starting to get... Oh my god. One, some days, one side just does not... 
balancing thing. And my toes are facing out that way too. Okay, great. Try to lift your heart into both hands. <laughs> and then stand yourself up. Set that foot way far back. All right, warrior two. Reaching strong into both directions. And then putting a little flow in here. Stay strong in this leg. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, elbow down. Reach that top arm up and over. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, arm down and up and over. Once more like that, inhale. Exhale. And then you're going to lift yourself up. Stand yourself up. Straighten your legs. Shift the hips over. Let this one turn over a little bit. But as you slide your left arm down, you want to still lift this top shoulder up and open so you're reaching in both directions and you're trying to pull. Maybe you grab a thing. Take an inhale. And exhale. Curl it underneath. As you inhale, you're going to open up the chest again. Arms reach in both directions. Exhale. Curl it under. Inhale, open. Exhale, under. And then open it up again. Feel that heart reaching into both arms. Good. And then stand it up. You can take your thing with you. Like. And you're going to step it up towards that left leg again. Set your thing out about that foot in front of your foot. And then you're going to cross the right leg on top and you're going to squeeze and sit your hips back. You can cross the legs. Take the opposite arm on top. Wrap up eagle feathers. Facing towards the short end of my mat. And then I'm going to open this up. Move that arm here. Try to face that towards the long side of my mat. And then let it go. Try the transition once more. Who knows? Maybe this is the time. Or this is the time that you really fall over and your body learns like, oh, that was not the way I want to arrange myself in the future. Sometimes we get that way. Squeeze it all in. And then open it up. And then go ahead and take both feet down. You can even wiggle your feet a little wider than your hips here. Let your fingertips come to your, to your object or to your shins or the floor and relax your head down. Take your body back up to standing. When you get here, take your hands. You're just going to bring them behind your head. Try to lift up and forward. You kind of bounce up onto your toes a little bit. You can leave your heels touching the foot, but you want your weight a little bit further forward. And then you're going to start to let your head rest back into your hands. And then you're going to notice, shit, my shoulders are tight. Maybe they're lifting up. Maybe it's really hard to convince my neck to let my head be held by my hands. There's so many things that want to resist. You look like your head is not going to fall off. If your hands are perfectly capable of holding it up here. Okay, what you can do about softening. Take your head back up, release your arms, and you're going to come to where you're standing, kind of at the front of your mat space. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale, fold it down, bring your hands down, plant them, and walk your feet back, finding your downward facing dog. And then once you get into downward facing dog without judgment or frustration with yourself, are you still trying to hold your head and neck? Can you let your head relax? Trusting that it will remain attached. Tenuously at best, perhaps, at times, but still attached. One more exhale. And then gently lower your knees down. And you're going to bring your right foot up to where your right hand just was. And then start to lift yourself up. And you want to make sure that you're not sitting really short. So you should have a lot of distance between 
your foot and your knee, not that little. You want to have a lot. And then you're going to take your arms, you can hold on to your hips so you can reach them back behind your back. And you're going to try to get your chest up, your elbows back as much as possible. Take breath in. Big breath out. Reach your arms up. You're going to go ahead and bring your hands, interlace them, and then bring your hands back behind your head. Now, try to lift your chest up and relax your head and your hands. And then if you notice you're wiggling around all over the place, that's fine. Like your body trying to find a good alignment. It's fine if it doesn't start off. It's not perfect alignment. It's working on it. It's a practice. You can relax your jaw and your neck. One more breath out. Take your head back up on its own. Reach your arms up. Get a little bit longer as you inhale. And then take your hands down and you're going to bring your right leg back. All right, take your left foot forward. You'll see in the lift and the little boxes on the screen, make sure you've got some length in between your foot and your knee so you're not in a short stance. And then take your hands to hips or together, and then you're gonna lift the chest. So I'm not trying to fall back here, right? Cause that tenses into my low back. I wanna lift my chest up and forward. So I'm opening the heart as much as possible. And then keeping the chest lifted, reach your arms up, bring your hands back behind your head. Try to keep the chest lifted and rest the head. Oh, push into your front foot, that's gonna help. It doesn't fix anything, or it doesn't fix everything, but it does help a lot. That constant dialogue of, oh my god, neck muscles, relax. And take your head back up. Oh, reach your arms up. Find that nice long spine, that victorious crescent moon pose, ta-da, yoga thing. And then take your hands down, go ahead and slide your leg back, and then you're going to come down to a seat. Okay, hands are back, fingertips face more or less forward or a little out to the side, that's fine, but you're going to draw your elbows back in together and press your chest up and forward. Take breath in. And relax as you exhale. Now, if I lean back a little bit, I have a much better chance of getting my right ankle up onto my left knee. You might say, oh, this is absolutely torturous. I don't want to be up this far. And then you're just going to go onto your back and maybe you hold onto your thigh or maybe you just hang out like this. Give yourself what you need. If you are feeling a little friskier, you can start to bring your foot and your hip a little bit closer to each other. We're all going to have different degrees to where we're going to get that foot and that hip close together. It doesn't have to be any other way than exactly the way that you are getting it together. If you have the space for it now, you're going to start lifting your chest up and forward just like we were when it was significantly easier with both legs down on the floor. Just be kind to yourself about the fact that it's going to be different. It's a different pose. Exhale, lean it back again, trying to get that foot off of the knee. We're just going to go right to the other side, so if you're on your back, you can stay there. I lean back a whole bunch. I'm going to try to scooch everything up and forward. Oh my God. Breathing into it. Hips get tight, man. There's a lot of room in that joint. There's a lot of connective tissue and sticky stuff that weaves its way in there. Give yourself some patience about working through it. One more breath in. Exhale, lean it back a little bit. Unwind that leg. We're gonna come down to our backs for a moment and then we're gonna get back up. Don't get too excited yet. We're gonna come down, heels in, close to the hips. Arms down. Now wiggle your shoulder blades together underneath your heart so that your chest starts off lifted up. And then you wanna check out that your feet are about hip width apart. If you got long arms like me, you can just reach down and tap your outer ankles. And my toes face forward, my knees face 
up, everything well squared off. We're gonna push down into the feet, lift your hips up, try to wiggle your shoulder blades in a little bit more. Just keep your arms down for this one. We're gonna focus on your feet, that you're rooting your big toe knuckle and your pinky toe down towards the floor. Take another breath in. And then gently lower your hips down. Probably wiggle your shoulders out a little bit more. So we're gonna have to wiggle them back in when you push down into your feet. So do that again, push into your feet. Wiggle those arms in a little bit more. Now you can hold your hips, you can hold your hands on the floor, or you can interlace your arms behind your back. Feel the big toe and pinky toe pressing down into the mat again. Take a big breath in. And then we're gonna relax down, releasing those arms as you need. Oh. We're gonna do one more bridge pose. See if you can maybe get a little bit further this time, or maybe it just feels a little freer wherever you get to. Gonna push down in the feet, wiggle the arms underneath, hold hands, hold hips, or hold the floor. Push the big toe and pinky toe down. Now feel all of the energy in the inseams of your pants. Squeeze up into the center of your pelvis. On your next exhale, relax your jaw, your neck muscles, and then release your shoulders and gently float your hips back down onto the floor. your chest, give yourself a little squeeze. Oh. And start to lift yourself up to the seat, rocking or rolling yourself over to one side. And take your legs out in front of you. Actually, we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide. And you're gonna lift and lengthen your spine and just try to come forward as much as you can. Many of us are just gonna come forward a little bit. Some of us are gonna feel good about really reaching the heart closer down towards your feet. Go wherever it feels good to you. You don't even have to go as far as you could go. If it feels good to you, you'd be in a different place. breath out and gently take yourself back up you're just going to take the right leg and extend it out so your left leg is still folded in and then start to come forward over that leg just as much as you can you can bend your leg and pull yourself into it you can use your hands behind you for support if you're feeling real tight in your back give yourself some support some softness for your body or you might reach forward and try to hold onto your lower leg. And even if you are super bendy, there's always a point of resistance. And rather than trying to force against that resistance, which often causes injury and pain, can you soften into that resistance? Maybe just recognizing that that's your limit or seeing if you can gently explore that limit. Rather than hurtling through without, without caring for yourself. One more breath out. to lift yourself up. We're just going to switch legs. So you'll take your right leg back in, slide your left leg out. You'll hold it or you'll prop yourself up or you'll lay your leg down on your shin or you'll be somewhere in a combination or in between place of these. Keep seeking softness.
One more breath. And start to lift yourself back up. Take both legs out in front of you. If you have a hard time folding forward with fairly narrow legs and you want to widen yours out, or if you want to just take your hands behind your back and lift your chest up, maybe you want to come back, the feet together, knees out wide. Pick your favorite one. Pick whatever one seems like it's going to feel good for you today. Your eyes get to choose. You don't have to do exactly what I said. You're in your own living room anyway. I barely even know. Right? Just try to find some softness for me. That's all I ask. Stay here with the breath. Two more breaths. Start to peel yourself up off of your legs. You're going to start to come down onto your back. And bring your knees in. Hi, Jezebel. Thank you. And keep holding on to your right leg. Let your left leg start to extend out away from you. Like many of us are not going to get the legs straight. That's okay. But lengthen out through that leg. And rather than trying to squeeze your knee into your chest, just let it soften. So the left leg is the active one. The right leg, relax. Yeah, I said relax, not get pressed down by the dog. Thank you. Okay. Keep playing with that idea. Can I have a strong left leg and relax the right leg and not try so hard on the right leg? It's a little bit of a, a body twister, tongue twister. And relax both legs. You're just going to take the right knee across the body so you have a little twist. I like to rest my foot on my leg, but you're welcome to place it on the floor or adjust this in any other way. Oh, sorry, my nose is just today. And open your right arm out so you're getting a little stretch across that right shoulder. Let your belly soften with all of your abs. to the center, set your right foot down, draw your left leg in. You're going to start to extend the right leg out and really extend through that right leg and then maybe the action in the right leg will let your left leg soften in a bit more. Keep breathing through that right leg. breath out and relax both of the legs especially that right leg take the left leg across find that twist maybe rest the foot on your left leg or, sorry that's the left foot resting on the right leg and then the left arm opens up across the chest let your belly soften Back to the center, bringing both knees in and then widening the knees out, lifting your feet. They might look like they're being planted on the ceiling and you'll hold your ankles or your knees or your feet. So your knees are out wide, like they're gonna fall right into your armpits. And then rather than trying to drag the knees into the armpits so your pelvis is lifted and your lower back is tense, relax the hips down. They're not gonna go down. They're not gonna go like physically down to the floor. So you soften them in that direction. 
noticing the points of resistance. So you kind of want to lift and squeeze upwards, letting that go. Two more breaths. Releasing your feet, go ahead and bring the soles of your feet back down, wiggle them together, and then let your knees open up. And if it feels a little tense, you can always bring your hands or something underneath your thighs to help support them. If you're able to let those thighs relax out and kind of drop down, let your inner thighs open up. Try to snuggle your shoulder blades together just gently underneath the heart, so not super intense quite as much as bridge pose, but just a little bit to let the heart be open and soft. Bent leg place is a little nice on a tender lower back. You can start to slide your feet out, let them flop open. You might choose to take a seated meditation or slide your legs up the wall. Maybe you just plop down on your couch and try to zone out and soften for a few minutes, but we'll spend the next couple of minutes resting here together before we wrap up together.
puffs at me. Keep softening when you breathe out. Rolling yourself over to one side. Curl inwards for a pause and gratitude for coming onto your mat today, for having this time magic of the internet to share together. And then starting to lift yourself up and find your own version of a comfortable seat, then however you like, it doesn't need to look like real big up Bring your hands up to your heart. Let your heart continue to lift. And we feel the practice releasing and all. Big breath in. 